Hello friends. Ye old talking head it is once again with a journal for you. It seems I have a new, uh, well, you know, everything's always new, okay? I hope you're finding this out too. Uh, everything is always new. Uh, a new thing going um, on with the journals, a new series is developing called, I'm going to call it Tips and Tricks series. Little things that make a difference. And uh, it's, it's much more anchored into 3D than I'm used to being at all. So it's a trip for me. But that's what's flowing. That's what's coming. It feels really good. And so I'm really good, uh, glad to, to share these things with you. So this one is called Respecting Your Process. And that's really what the tips and tricks are all about, uh, as you'll see. It's from July 8th, which happens to be today, the first one of the day, and the Mayan day is for night or house. How much do you respect your process? How much do you respect and revere yourself? Do you love you? How do you show it? These are some interesting questions or points for pondering. They will help reveal more of you to you if you observe, if you're quietly watching. As your higher self, inner self, whatever you want to call it, begins coming through for you more and more, this is a precious process. Each moment becomes more significant, dare I say, sacred. We spoke of our moments not being inconsequential, of how the now is ever new. We are coming into new relationships with everything, really, from heart space. It's quite a journey. If you're ready, it's for you personally. Be in heart for this and be willing. That's all it takes. We have been slowly pulling back from being identified with mind, locked into it, unable to see it. We're gaining some space now to breathe and to see where we were and how locked in we were and everyone is, pretty much. We're coming free from the matrix. Hmm. So are we all, but we're doing it consciously. There's the difference. Know that your process is blessing everyone, my dear ones. All feel it. Even if it's on levels they can't consciously access, yet they know. Deep within, we're connected. We all know everything. Your process brings blessing to all life, whether you know it or not. Just remember the fractal, how changes propagate out into it instantly. Those are your changes. They even bless me. So we have been pulling out and back from the body, the mind, being so locked within them, thinking they're us, they're the I, when they're not. But as long as we occupy them completely, we can't see this. Like Einstein said, you've got to get back or above it to see and resolve it, whatever it is. This is a switch, however, a change, stay in heart, I guess you've pulled back enough to clarify vision, to see where you are. That's the trick at the first, and it must happen for anything else to. So you're there. You're in heart. Then what next? Are you falling in love with you yet? Has that started to happen? It will. This is the divine manifest as you. That's what you are. To the extent you love source, you love God, you love you. 
You will soon see this. That is, if you already don't, or if you don't already. So, we're going there for a bit. Come along. In your new place, your new space of the heart then, you're living there quite a lot more than you were. You're being conscious of it. And your guidance is flowing. You're tuning in. Intuition is intensifying. You're opening up to so many things. Stay in heart. Let's look at that. How much do you respect your own process? What do you do for you to encourage that? Now let me share a few things I found helpful. Maybe they'll be for you too. Let us see. First of all, the heart space is sacred. I'm sure you sense this at least once. If you've not, then you soon will, for it's palpable. Not definable, but you can sense it. It's just different, my friends. You'll soon know and be sharing it with others. You'll see. Anyway, from this space will arise many things. The still, quiet voice will bring guidance 